In this video, we're going to go over scrolling in Figma. You will learn how to set up horizontal and vertical scrolling, and we'll also go over how to set up scrolling in both directions. For scrolling to be possible, you need to have a frame that contains elements that are bigger than the actual frame. We're going to use a text tool to create a text that says horizontal scrolling and also vertical scrolling and then omnidirectional scrolling. Now I'm going to create a frame that will be 1000 by 600 and that's going to be our screen. This frame is going to contain a rectangle that's going to be gray and as I said it needs to have something the frame needs to contain something that is bigger than the actual frame. So this one is gonna be almost 1600 pixels tall, whereas the frame is 600, so there is a big overlap. We're just gonna uncheck this so that we can see what's actually beyond the borders of the frame. Um, and we're gonna also create additional smaller frames that are gonna be called horizontal, vertical, Omnidirectional. And we're going to take these and paste them, move them inside the frame, inside the screen frame. I'm going to move this vertical one down here. The horizontal will be also way down and the omnidirectional is going to be around here. So the, uh, the reason why I'm spacing these out so much is just so that we can really play around with as many scrolls and nested scrolls so that you can really understand how this thing works. And now I'm going to paste the horizontal scrolling text inside the horizontal frame, align it to the right, to the left, sorry. Same with the vertical and also omnidirectional. Right, okay, so now when, if we launch the prototype right now, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a frame that only shows this omnidirectional frame, right? Because that's what's within the borders of the frame. We would like to be able to scroll down the frame and then see all these remaining ones. To do that, we're gonna go to prototype with this frame selected and then go to overflow scrolling and say vertical scrolling. This should enable us to scroll down. Now I'm scrolling down with my touchpad and I can go all the way down to the horizontal one, which is way down here. The amount by which we can scroll is defined by the size of the elements within the frame that we can scroll through. The reason why we cannot scroll further down is because top, this is the bottom edge of the gray rectangle. There is no more place to scroll. If we extend it, this rectangle way make it way taller we could scroll further down right that's kind of what defines the size of the scroll it's always the contents of the frame now this is the vertical uh, frame so we're going to again go to prototype and enable vertical scrolling now when we scroll down to this frame we can scroll through this frame as well so this is how nested scrolling works. You can scroll down and then you can scroll within this element. Um, horizontal one. We're gonna go here, this is very simple, uh, and enable horizontal scrolling. So now when we go here and can, you know, go from left to right. And lastly, this omnidirectional scrolling, we're gonna go again here and select horizontal and vertical scrolling. So now if we swipe around, if we kind of use our touchpad to uh, scroll to the sides and then you can also of course turn this scrolling back off so if we don't want this frame to be scrollable we can turn that off and it doesn't work anymore right if I scroll here uh, it moves the entire screen whereas these other two still work and this is it I would say that setting up scrolling in Figma is very easy it's very intuitive. You have to go to the prototype panel and then select the frame and whichever scrolling feature you'd like to enable and also you need to remember that the size and the amount of scrolling is always defined by the contents of the frame you are enabling the scrolling feature for. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate you leaving a like. And if you're interested in learning about Figma and how to create interactive prototypes, definitely check out my channel. I have plenty of tutorials about Figma. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next one.